Well, good afternoon, folks, from uh, a little township, Helen, near Toowoomba, in southwest Queensland, where we're looking at my good friend Graham's 1922 Lincoln sedan. The only one of its type in Australia. Been giving a lot of trouble with its uh, cooling system. And the radiator, which is a two man lift, by the way, had to be taken out and sent down to Mawulamba, where it was being reconditioned. At the present time, the vehicle is going to have a uh, reverse flush done on the cooling system very shortly. This is a 5.7 litre V8 motor, um, downdraft carburetor on it. Downdraft carburetor, you can see it in the middle of the valley there. Uh, does 11 miles to the gallon. Car weighs 2.4 tonnes and is quite capable of sitting on 65 miles an hour on the open highway, which it has done because it was driven from Warrnambool in Victoria up to here into Queensland uh, under its own power, which isn't too bad for an 80 year old car. That's quite an exceptional piece of work. These are all handmade, these cars. The radiator shell is um, cast brass, believe it or not, and is um, quite an exceptionally heavy piece of material. It's also shutter controlled for temperature so when it heats up the shutters open up and when it cools down the shutters close down. So the chap at the present time is down there is rebuilding it for us. Now we're going to black flush the engine, I'm just speaking on a preliminary here and we're going to put a, a hose on here and extend it, bring the car forward to the edge of the thing, we're going to blow um, compressed air and water through that particular intake there and we're going to try and reverse flush everything out of the block and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of rubbish in there so I'm rather looking forward to seeing that happen very shortly so at, when we get to the point where we're actually going to do it I'll start the camera up again and we'll have another look at it in the meanwhile Graham's going to check the uh, tension of the of the timing chain which is done through this particular item here this little plug comes out you check the tension in there and uh, if it needs adjustment, the adjustment will be made then. The entire car is overbuilt. It's incredibly heavy. It's also very difficult to get in and out of the front seat because it's really designed for passengers and the front seat passengers didn't get much room. So it's a bit like getting into a Model A Ford from some points of view. Very restricted. Back seat's exceptional because you can stretch right out in there. The car stands well over six feet, six inches tall. Floor to ceiling. And um, is a tad just about a, as you can see, about a foot short, a foot short of the length of the uh, of the container, about three feet, two feet six inches or something like that. Very interesting vehicle. All right, when we got it all fired up and ready to go, we'll put the camera back on it and we'll see what comes out. <laughs> 